This is the this is the Sorrow Dusk Isle chain on hard. echo from its depths. Just watch for the pattern and then uh, try to run between the between the the trap. You have the sense of the fathomless depths beneath. To fall into this chasm would be certain death. You see movement in one of the cells ahead. It may be Achka. Achka runs out of his cell and disappears down the hall. abandoned mine. It is now home. Hollow to the north waits Buku, elder of the Grey Moon tribe.
And for the second one, we don't need to get a key. The tension in the mine is greater than before. The ogres are ready for you this time. We have a champion up ahead. You can see the ogres hit pretty hard, even on uh, hard. That was quite a bit of damage compared to what we've been taking on hard. And uh, that was the champion there that was doing extra damage. My bow since that guy was gonna was uh, in the trap. So best to put your hireling on stand their ground here so they don't run in, especially on Reaper mode. This door stands open. It doesn't take a Kalashtar to sense that the ogres want you to go in. shimmers with heat from the machinery in this chamber. You hear shuffling from the ledges above. at you from his throne in the room to the roar of rage, the reek of rotting meat. Trolls. There are trolls here. The ghost crashes to the floor, his brief reign ended. The trolls are dead, but their presence here troubles you. Bruku must hear of this. abandoned mine. It is now home to ogres. <laughs> By the wretched smell, these ogres must have recently dined on the flesh of fallen adventurers. In the hollow to the north waits Bruku, elder of the Grey Moon tribe. The 
overgrown jungle about the To the south lies the entrance to the caves of the Grey Moon Ogre Clan, driven out by Tron. You have come to the den of the Grey Moon tribe. Signs of struggle are everywhere. The stink controls So that first cave on the right, and then this cave on the right, have trolls, we have to open these, but then the rest of the uh, doors are all optionals. You can see the, we have to get these troll mandatory objective. You see the uh, enemies going down in one shot. That's most likely the Vorpal proc. It doesn't proc, uh, you know, that often. I think it's one in twenty, but then it doesn't always kill the enemy. Sometimes they have death Your block. Begin to water. Sometimes they have the too many hit points. So, uh, you know, something less than one in twenty. Chieftain squints at you through the gloom. We can actually draw this guy back first. And again, for this part, I'm going to keep my hireling here for now. I'm going to climb up here, make sure I have my feather fall on. And then aim for about that middle area here and try to kind of go along these rails.
right, and one of the trolls did not come, so we have to find. Uh, he's either going to be on. He's going to be on one of these sides. I think he came from. I think it was this side. He's missing from. So we just have to go up the ladders and find him and uh, hunt him down. Normally they'll come to us, but. I don't recall ever getting this guy, so maybe it's because he was a name guy. That's why we had to go back to him. But anyways, that's the quest. And now we'll go back and get the other. Uh, since you've already seen this wilderness run, I'm going to go ahead and um, pause it while we get the next quest to try to shorten the video a little bit. To the south lies the... And as a reminder, in this one, we don't have to open any doors. We just have to kind of go to the end. So this one sort of picks up where the other one left off. There's a little fighting before that, but not much. The stink of trolls lingers in the air. Bruku was right. You didn't kill them all the first time. on the far side of this chamber stands open. You hear faint snarling from the darkness beyond. So I, uh, when I fell in the lava, I died. I just released, came right back, and was able to get back in before the five minutes, and just ran back here, paused the video while I did that. So not a big deal, but always a good reminder: make sure you have your featherfall item on. Um, I, when I used my boots of expeditious retreat. I must have misclicked and not put my, my featherfall boots back on. So. A uh, good reminder when you get there, just double check, make sure you've got your Featherfall item equipped. Because uh, it's definitely, especially on Reaper, there's no way to re-enter. This wasn't so bad, just You'll cost me a couple of minutes to re-enter. The, the drawbridge. The chasm's too wide to jump. <laughs> sound greets you from the west. You have lowered the drawbridge. Over 
Irish runes were carved into the wall here. Some scratch through the legibility by cold claws. Those rocks can behave like that. At last, the presence of trolls darkens the Grey Moon holdings no longer. Your party has reached the deepest part of the Grey Moon Den. Another unexpected occupant, the human cleric of the gods of evil. A sneer takes the trolls on his face. Brother Kasul goes to his dark gods. Well, the prefix and suffix go together, so that's something we could probably auction, and my previous auction just sold, so I think we're in good shape to post another one here after this chain. And again, once I'm out, I'm going to pause it uh, and restart at the next quest to save a little time since you've already seen the wilderness the south, in the normal rise. run. Some kind of, uh, we get an end reward for uh, finishing, I guess, the first six and seven quests. And we got an interesting one here. It's it's a Sibri's Dragon Shard, which will allow us to exchange a feat from level 9 to 12. There is a large amount of plat required with that, but it could be useful. If nothing else, we could sell it. And then we'll take the next quest and I'm going to pause it until we get to the next quest. Alright, we're going to pick it back up with the level 8 quests. It's actually level 8, it just shows up as a 9 when I switch it to hard here. Down the tunnel, the rough cavern walls give way to fitted stone. Cries of pain and grave, chanting voices break the silence. A bedraggled ogre stares at you from the cell to the north. He has been beaten and whipped, but his eyes still burn with defiance. More grunts and pained yelps disturb the gloom, followed by cruel laughter. Tiny globs and floor near the wall. They give off a Something with sharp, ragged claws has scratched the floor near the north wall here. The battered 
ogre shoves out of his cell and flees to safety. Now to help his fellows. Slivers of gnawed bone make a trail that stops abruptly at the east wall of the passage. slaves have all been freed. The cult of the six no longer has any hold over Grey Moon. This mausoleum Frigid. A grasping voice growls up from the shadows, but you cannot make out the words. Again, the voice calls from the Persistent, growls the disembodied voice. It will be your undoing. The Libra Mother Six will not leave these halls. The 
in the midst of the fane, a ghostly form glares down at you. This is Clarence, one of the cult's evil priests of the dark sect. As the final protector of the Libram of the Six Hall, the Libram of the Six is yours. This mausoleum was recently... The way out is shut and will not open again. You must find another exit when your task is done. here seems choked with bleakness and evil as if all joy you have found the main worship hall now you must destroy all the altars of the dark six <laughs> gonna pass this entrance by for now. This is the last altar and the way we're gonna exit. This lever opens the gate to the exit. Wrath that 
have abated with the altar's destruction has returned threefold. I feel as if I drown in fury. These runes have some arcane significance. Perhaps sarcophagus in the middle of the dais seems to stand out on the wall. Perhaps something is behind it.
gates. You can go no further at this time. temple. It is true, then. The fires of Hernian... <laughs> So we're level 9, this is a level 10 quest on hard, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit, um, you know, more difficult than some of the other quests we've been running. Uh, it's, it's actually not super difficult, but I mean, it's, you know, we're going to have to worry about failing some One of our of skill checks a little more. Ahead, a not a big deal, we're not going to run this on Reaper until level 13. <laughs> Still much work to do. Beyond the green guardians, the caves swelter with unholy power. The ground beneath you rumbles. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
streaks of burning stone across the pool of lava, a summoning fire. <laughs> before it could overrun Sarodusk. Sonorous thrumming sounds from the temple's deepest reaches. The bishop's ritual has begun. <laughs> to the inner chapel stands open. You sense that the bishop is taunting you. This holy uh, gold iron weapon will come in handy here against these fire reavers. first did this quest we um, figured the puzzle it took us a little while longer than most puzzles but uh, you know, eventually got it now we just now I just pretty much look at the wiki the wiki has the solution for each of these wheels are the same time they're the same exact uh, thing every time Bishop Zasha Off, a foul mix of drow and scorpion, lures cruelly at you. Zasha Off completes his prayer. <laughs>
All right, I'm just going to get the inner ward and then we are done with the chain. Let's see, we don't really need a shield. We know this, we can't use the staff because we're not chaotic. I uh, already have the bubble, bubble belt. Let's see what this is. Strength plus three, dexterity plus four. Uh, not too bad, but we're, you know, we have a little, I think we have better. Nothing too interesting there. Well, goggles of disabling are better than these goggles of disabling plus five, although level three. Uh, mummified bat. Let's see what that. Oh, listen and spot plus ten. Well, that's interesting. We could put that in our trinket uh, and feather falling. So that might actually be trunk and head. No. All right. So I think I'm gonna take this mummified bat for now, and that might help with some of our spotting issues. I'll have to be sure to swap between these trinkets, but. Still, it's, it's the best option we had, and spot plus 10 is much better than what we have currently. So that is the Sorrow Dusk Isle chain on hard.